guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I last made a talking video like this, really just one on one with you guys, and I apologize. I am going through my first deployment, um, and it's affected me in more ways than I can really express to you. So um, I do plan on making a separate video just kind of relating to what's going on in my life. Um, right now, there's just so much going on that uh, that's kind of why I haven't been around lately or I've been MIA but I will I do plan on making a separate video just kind of talking about all that stuff for you so uh, please forgive my absence uh, but I'm here with another video for you we all love monthly favorites so I figured I would hop back on here and just kind of give you some of my favorites uh, for the past several months so I have beauty products skin products and fashion trends that I've been loving. So we'll just hop right into the video. Um, we're gonna start off with the fashion trends only because I just kinda wanna um, get through this video as fast as I can. The first thing I wanted to talk about is liquid liquid leggings. The boots, heels, it matches everything and it goes with everything. You can wear just a regular tee, something like what I'm wearing with these guys and boots or heels with a blazer and this shirt, just something like this. It's just so easy to style and um, I just I love it so much. So um, this is actually what I got from dailylook.com. You guys have heard me mention Daily Look before. Um, so I was su super excited because every day I get an email from Daily Look just featuring a whole new outfit. So I saw, the, I saw this um, on the model and I just had to get it. So I got it really quick. Another thing that I've been obsessed with is sneaker wedges. Now, you either love them or you don't. When I first saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, I would never wear something like that. But this has been my obsession. If you follow me on Instagram, I've posted several pairs of, of sneaker wedges um, and I've just accumulated several since, I don't, I don't even, within the past month or two. Another thing is this um, chunky necklace here that came in this box. I love it because the finish of it is matte. So really you can also wear this, um, you know, for a casual day or you can dress it up or dress it down, either way, whichever. Um, but I love chunky chains. They are just so, so pretty. So um, this is what it looks like. Obviously it's a necklace, but just to, so you guys can see. Um, they kind of look alike, but I love big necklaces. So I just wanted to show you guys this. And then also I figured I would throw my purse in this video only because I got it from Daily Look too. Um, and this is what it looks like. And it's been my favorite ever since I got it. So I've been using it nonstop. It has a bunch of studs on it. And in the back you have a little pocket here. Um, and then it's just so gorgeous, the, the size of this thing. I'm a mom, so I can fit everything of Raiden's and mine in this bag. And it's just so cute. It comes with a um, like a crossbody uh, attachment, which is good if you wanted to have be hands free or something while you're shopping. Uh, but tell me, this bag is not cute, right? Right. So again, if you guys are interested, I will put Daily Look um, the website down below in the description bar. Um, I highly suggest checking out their stuff because it's free to join and all that stuff and you get like points every time you sign in which is convenient because it can go towards like a, a future purchase or something like that. Moving on to beauty favorites. The first thing I want to talk about is lip products. This is the Maybelline Vivid Collection or three, four, five of the lipsticks that I got from the collection. If you are a huge lip junkie, I highly suggest you run out to the store and you get these right now. I am not a huge lover of lipsticks in general. I'm more of a neutral nude type of girl as far as colors go. Uh, but these colors are just amazing, perfect for spring and summer, which is right around the corner. So if you have not tried them, definitely go and pick them up because they're just gorgeous. Um, they are actually probably my favorite uh, collection that has come out from Maybelline. So keep that in mind when you're going to the store. Next products that I wanted to talk about are concealers. You guys know I am a huge concealer junkie. Um, so I'm not going to go too far in depth. Let me know if you do want to see like a separate concealers video. Just kind of strictly talking about concealers. The first two I wanted to talk about is the L'Oreal True Match Crayon. Love this stuff. I have one that's more skin tone and one obviously to highlight under the eyes love 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 so much second one is Revlon Colorstay the Revlon is 
probably one of my favorite drugstore brands, so this concealer is definitely one of my favorites. The NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. I picked it up from Ulta. The packaging I'm not so crazy about, so I thought it was kind of cheap, but the product itself is actually amazing, so I'm really, really glad that I picked it up. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, the next one is the Super BB All-in-One Beauty Balm Concealer, which I think I featured in a previous video. And the last one is the Tarte uh, Creaseless Concealer, which looks like this. This one I'm a little disappointed with, only because it doesn't come with a lot of product. I'm not sure if I got a default one, so if you have this concealer, let me know down below if you have a lot of product. I feel like I have to squeeze like the whole thing in order to get some out. But I do like it though, so. Moving on to my next favorite thing to purchase is foundation. So the two that I wanted to talk about today is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. Um, this one, I've never had or tried a CoverGirl foundation before, so um, I, was, I was skeptical about it. But I've heard so many good things about this foundation that I ran to the store, literally, and I went and got it. Especially after I watched uh, It's Judy Time. She talked about this foundation and I have been loving it. Loving it. Um, the next foundation is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. Um, I really just use a little itty bitty tiny bit and it just kind of covers my whole face. Um, I love the... The Revlon Nearly Naked um, color... Wait, what is this? The Revlon... Color Stay. <laughs> it's one of my favorite drugstore foundations. I can't talk, you guys. I'm sorry. This one is definitely another um, another favorite that I've been using a lot this month. So I do have different colors only because I've been self-tanning a lot. So I kind of fluctuate between colors, which leads me to my next product. Next product is the Sun Goddess Sunless Tanning Lotion. If you have been watching my videos for quite some time now, I've mention several self tanners in my videos only because I'm always on the lookout for new self tanners because living in New York I don't get a lot of sun I don't go to the tanning bed so I purchase self tanners this one I've heard many 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 good reviews about so I was definitely excited to give it a try um, this one is not a spray or anything like that like how uh, my other tanners are so I was a little skeptical about that I wasn't I wasn't sure how it was gonna work on my skin but I tried this and it gave me immediate color um, it's kind of awkward at first because it does if you see this build up up here it does look a little greenish which is a little made me a little apprehensive uh, but like I said the color just glides on so nicely it's blendable it's not splotchy at all I absolutely love this so um, if you're interested I will put the link down below um, to where you can purchase this product um, I don't know if I said this one isn't dark or anything but like I said it gives you immediate color awesome awesome look it's just it doesn't look fake or orange or anything like that so very very pleased with this product moving on to skincare first thing I wanted to talk about is the L'Oreal go 360 clean deep facial cleanser I actually almost pile with this one and um, this one I actually use when I am in the shower a lot of times when I have makeup on I take off my lashes but I leave my makeup on until I get into the shower because this stuff takes it all off it does come with like a little uh, exfoliant scrubber thing but I don't really use it unless I'm really doing like a deep cleaning in my pores um, but this stuff like I said just takes off all my makeup so really I'm just eliminating a step um, wasting you know my makeup remover wipes or whatever when I could just hop into the shower use this stuff take off my makeup and then it leads me to my next product that I'm loving this is the Cetaphil daily facial cleanser and it just looks like this um, this has been talked about throughout YouTube. I don't know why it took me so long to pick it up, but I went to Target, snatched this thing up, absolutely love it. It smells so good. I am like a sucker for scents, especially when it comes down to cleansers and moisturizers. Oh, it smells so good. So that's my next product. Along with that, of course, I had to pick up the Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer with SPF 15. Um, I use this in the morning after I cleanse, tone, all that stuff with on my skin. I put this on especially because I don't wear makeup every single day. So when I'm doing errands or I'm running errands, I make sure I have something with SPF in it so it protects my face. Protects my face. 
And then at night, whoa, hello. At night, I use the Josie Marin 100% um, Pure Argan Oil. I think I've talked about this before. Um, I just use anywhere from two to three drops a night. You look like a greased chicken. But come the next morning, your face is just so moisturized and it's just oh, awesome, awesome. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I am so sorry for being MIA. Um, for my fellow military wives, you guys completely understand what I'm going through right now. And um, so right now I'm just kind of concentrating on other things, but I'm slowly coming back. I'm slowly getting my, my groove back. And uh, thank you so much for being patient with me and offering so much support. I honestly can't thank you enough. So until next time, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. God bless you all, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.